Now come to Cooktown, so we decided last night that we'd come up here. It's about a four hour drive from Cairns. And for anyone that knows this area, it probably seems a bit sporadic or random because we came up nearly this far with Jamie and Camille, but we came up the coast through the Bloomfield track. But we are in a bit of a holding pattern while we wait for news on my bike as to when that's gonna be fixed. So we decided to come up the inland route. It's a yeah, four hour drive from Cairns, so feeling pretty tired right now. Cooktown as well is the furthest that you can drive in Queensland in a two-wheel drive or at least the furthest that it's recommended. I know people do drive up to Cape York in two-wheel drives but this is sort of as far as it's recommended to come. So we're camped up at the race course. We've got front row seats here if there's any horses running tomorrow. I don't think there will, although it's Saturday. We're going to spend a few days here just checking out the area. There's a lot of national parks and things around. And honestly, it was just worth it to come here for the drive up because it was just completely different to the Bloomfield track. They love the beach, the crocodile. They love the beach like us, the crocodiles. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Finch Bay. I read a review and someone saw a croc from the bridge. So we're gonna check it out. Maybe just like don't step on individual ones and jump too much. What were you just telling me about there not being a sign? <laughs> that there wasn't a historical sign to tell you what the bridge was for. And that I'm is I'm getting it old. Yeah, getting old. Also, like, does anyone else get the urge to, like, throw their keys or their phone off these bridges? <laughs> Just like, it's gone now. <laughs> Those impulsive, like, what are they called? Impulsive thoughts? No, intrusive, intrusive thoughts. <laughs> oh, birds. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you do a flip in there? So the review no one asked for. Cool bridge. Bit rickety. Not ideal. When there's crocs in these rivers. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of some game show where you've got to like cross the river with crocs in it. What's going on here? I just spotted this, these red-winged parrots. Look how cute they are. What else you got going on? Well, my painting's left. I'm not done painting. Where'd you get your inspo from? Just a bit of... You've been doing a bit of driving, have you? I've been doing a bit of driving. That looks like the, the drive here. I think it was. Yeah. But I'm no, I'm no painter. Just doing it as a bit of a, <laughs> a, bit of a hobby. And mm. um, testing out the new Aldi watercolour set. Comes with its own little watercolour pen. Anyway, I could go on. It's probably boring. <laughs> you can, can you draw me a red-winged parrot? Not on here. Why not? It'd be tiny. No, not on a new sheet. Oh, yeah, I guess so. 
Brooke was actually pretty renowned in one of our circle of friends for her awful drawings of birds. So I'll see if I can dig some of those out. No. <laughs> was it bird in bread was your, <laughs> your masterpiece? Well, there is a meme on the internet and it is a bird stuck, like a pigeon stuck in a piece of bread. I tried to draw that because it, we used to go to trivia and I used to like draw little things on coasters. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to draw this bird in bread and um, it doesn't look like bird in a piece of bread. Let's just say that. I've actually done pretty well. I reckon it's pretty good. Thank you. It's better than bird in bread. The fruit basket's going to fall. And all our laundry. <laughs> Van this life. is van life. <laughs> <laughs> would you like any, a camera? Would you like clothes? Or would you like some fruit or some toilet paper? It's all in the bed if you need it. So it's time to make dinner and we're making pizza, which I'm very excited for. I have a pretty simple recipe that we may or may not have stolen from Jamie Oliver, but like whatever, we'll just disregard that. I am a chef. Uh, so but, sorry if you're watching this, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie, sorry mate. Jamie Oliver. He, he would be cheating. He would in, be, though. he would be a cheeky dog. I love it. Anyway. Uh, and I want to share the recipe with you because I think it's really easy and you don't need an oven to cook a pizza pot. We're going to need some self-raising flour. Any is fine. Black and gold. Pretty cheap. So it doesn't need parents. Self-raising. <laughs> and some water. That's it. We're having ham and pineapple today. But we're also going to make a second base for some Nutella. Nintella. <laughs> Hi, Super Nintendo Charmers. Hi, Super Nintendo Charmers. <laughs> oh, we're also making a Nutella and banana pizza as well. So we use this same self-raising flour and water mixture for the dough and spread Nutella on and some banana and chef's kisses. Also, probably use a cast iron pan haven't tried it in any other pan so I cannot recommend. So I do about one cup of flour to about 150 mils of water but just play around. So in goes your cup of flour, grab 150 mils of water, just grab it with a fork and I just add in a little bit of water at a time stirring until it forms a somewhat sticky somewhat not ball that's looking not too bad you've still got heaps of water left oh so don't use 150 mils of water just use 100 so you just put a bit of flour down yeah so then you just do a quick little knead it's looking pretty good ta-da base done done like a dog's dinner unless the dog is gluten intolerant Flattening it out. Do you reckon I should do this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> nearly went out the door. <laughs> Settle down. So Julius is going to take over for the toppings. Very complicated job, so I thought, you know, who better to be in charge of this? Pretty much we just fry that base off in some oil, flip it over, put the bases on, and then cover it. Pineapple does go on pizza. Everyone's gonna come for you. You don't put pineapple on pizza. Grand reveal. Have we done all right? Oh. Look at that. Not too shabby for no oven. That, is that enough? Banana? Too much. I've only got this much left. What do I do? Help. Done. Where's yours? Four wheel driving. Four wheels are driving. Technically. Technically. We have six, that's why. Uh. Oh, no, don't come back. See ya. Where are you taking us? Leaving the van there. We're going for a bit of a, a hike. Don't know how many meters, hundreds of meters, hopefully not caves. Going to see a waterfall.
that was such a fun waterfall to swim at super stoked that we trekked it through this somewhat rough road to get here now if you're really really precious with your van or you've got a really low clearance vehicle i don't know if i would recommend it would you no probably not uh because the van was fine but you know it's a little bit sketchy at times it's good you can get here it's just the last few hundred meters we stopped at which is probably wise all the forbies obviously can go straight through and park at the little parking bay and then it's probably like a hundred meter walk uh once you get to kind of the parking lot there so all in total like maybe two three hundred meters do you think? Yeah, that's about it, pretty much. And uh, yeah, such a beautiful spot. So you should definitely check it out if you're coming or going from Cooktown. And uh, I think that's about it. We're gonna head back to the Tablelands and... Hope that Julius's bike is fixed soon. All right, we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Peace. I do about 250 <laughs> milliliters of flour by the bot but and honestly it was just worth coming the ramble I don't know there might be some horses <laughs> 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 my inside of it anymore <laughs> okay oh